blue. I'll think of you and your frozen soul that burned my heart. You will be there and I somewhere. And the ice will come as time will end. And you shall speak your words so weak. The final flame as the moon turns blue. of Tantra. I think it's Sunday, around 4 p.m. I got in late last night, or this morning I should say. A bottle of Jack will mess you up every time. I saw the red light flash, and I knew the call had come in. I don't know how I got involved in all this secret agent stuff. Hell, I don't even know where the last three years of my life have gone. But every time they call, I come running like a dog. Please place hand on template. One moment, please. Good afternoon, Major Callahan. Step into the elevator, please. Someone say they were looking for a super agent. Hey, Ronnie. Two hours late. Not bad. Yeah, I know. Way too much fun last night. I didn't get your message until about four this morning. Sounded urgent, though. What's up? I don't really know. Mr. Swerdlow seems pretty wound up, though. Something big must be going down. No, oh, it's always life or death around here. Is the old man mad at me? Again? Yeah, but you got him wrapped around your little finger. Just show him a little cleavage. You know what to do. Oh, you mean like this? <laughs> hmm. Very nice, Miss Callahan. Oh, Mr. Swerdlow. Um, I'm sorry I'm late. It's just, uh, well, uh, I mean, we were just now... Now, if you'd around. be so kind, you know would you unwrap me from around your finger and step into my office? We have some important business to take care of. I've heard it all before, Ronnie. Helen... Hold my calls and tell Archives I'll be accessing the black data files. The way they look at each other, I wonder. 
Step into my office, Agent Callahan. You'll forgive me if I forego the usual amenities and get right down to business. You're the boss, but hello anyway. I hate to be all spit and polish, Callahan, but I must insist you take this test. I expected as much. Let's just get it over with. Nice job, Callahan. As sharp as ever, I see. Yeah, and this is with a hangover. It's good to see you again, Ronnie. Despite what you may believe, I've missed you. I've missed you too. It was difficult at first, not seeing you and having to pretend I didn't have feelings for you. But getting my life back on track has kept me pretty busy. Well, Ronnie, you know in order for this operation to function efficiently, a certain, how shall I say, emotional distance must be maintained. You still have the ability to make my emotions seem so small. No need to worry that little organic database of yours, Manfred. I'm over you now. Yes, well, very good then. Please watch the monitor. You may find this quite interesting. Damn it, I hope this recorder's working. Anyway, it's me again. I'm about to head towards Dunnington's complex. I have some film of our approach, and by the way, tell Slate his 50-foot res camera is a go. Oh, we'll take a close look at the footage I've sent you. The dome-shaped building at the southwest wing of the map has subsonic frequencies that are way off the scale. Whoever you send is back up will have to scale the cliffs off the southern shore and head north. I got a bad feeling about this one. Like I think it's gonna get freaky out here. So the backup agent should be armed and ready. Oh, and one more thing. I'll be leaving info cards along the way, so be sure to follow my instructions to the letter. Sayonara, boys. Wish me luck. Well, time to call on the authorities, right? You know that's out of the question, Callahan. There are just too many sensitive issues at stake. This is a black project all the way. Definitely not for public consumption. Sensitive issues? Look. I know where all this is headed, and you can count me out. I've had enough of this duty and country garbage. Anyway, I was promised that the last mission was going to be it for me. Take a look at yourself, Callahan. You're the product of the world's finest training techniques. We've spared no expense to make you the best and most highly paid SI agent on the planet. Quite a step for someone who is headed for a life of crime. Yeah, well, somehow my life doesn't seem much different. The line between right and wrong is a lot less clear these days. Hell, I've killed more in the name of freedom than any so-called criminal I know of. Perhaps you are right, Callahan. I remember a much more hopeful time. Maybe we all have a cross to bear. But you, you more than anyone knows what's at stake here, Callahan. Dunnington and his minions must be taken down. The fate of mankind may very well hang in the balance. Don't you see? I'm giving you a chance to make a difference. Ronnie, you can't just walk away. Yeah, okay. And if I agree to do your dirty work one more time, will you accept my resignation and let me be done with this once and for all? You know the drill, Tom. No deals, but we can talk when you get back. Oh, and uh, one more thing. Yeah? What is it? I've made all the arrangements. You leave tonight.
car will be by to pick you up in three hours. Good luck, Ronnie. Well, as usual, I accept my fate like a good little girl and head into the jaws of hell once more. Hey, it ain't all bad news. The sun shining surfs up and the flight was free. Looks like a perfect day for the beach. How close are we? Final approach, Pam. That's our DOD right down there. Let's do it, soldier. You know it, ma'am. Any last words to base ops? Yeah, tell them they can kiss my ass. There's got to be an easier way of getting through this friggin' no-fly zone. Fashionably late as usual, but so far it doesn't look like anyone's expecting me. I better stay on my toes on this one. If what they say about Dunnington and his cohorts is true, I'll be lucky to get out of this one alive. Looks like the road to Bally is this way. If Swordlow's done his job, I should be about a mile and a half from the ridge. Doing his job is about all I can rely on him for. That heartless bastard. To think I once felt something for him. Welcome to the jungle, baby. They didn't tell me much in my briefing file, but it did say Agent Kelso has hidden info cards along the way. Once I found the locker containing my gear, I'll be better equipped to pull this off. This must be the place that Kelso was talking about. The equipment locker is hidden somewhere in this palm tree forest. Ah, yes, here it is. Better. See you later, flyboy. Wish me luck. Everything seems to be here. Ah, yes, my trusty Wagner XE blaster. It's just what the doctor ordered. I hope Kelso hasn't forgotten anything. I'm just about naked with no way off this island. Super Agent Ronnie Callahan. Push your buttons and watch her save mankind. And, as an added feature, she's totally expendable. If this
this mission goes snafu, we're going to have to erase this entire complex. And that means everyone in it, including yours truly. <laughs> I gotta find another line of work. Hammer Shield C Turret Isis Tempstis Able Hammer Shield C Turret Isis Tempstis Able This place looks like a friggin' ghost town. All right, so far so good. I guess I'm gonna have to improvise. This looks like as good a place to start as any. This is gonna be easy. Okay, sister, hold it right there or your brains are scribbled eggs. Looks like the party stopped. It's bound to attract some attention. I've gotta find the warehouse now. What's gotten into me? I didn't want to kill them. I had to. But I almost enjoyed it. My violent tendencies seem extreme even for me. Almost as if I'm driven by some sort of alien bloodlust. I better press on to the warehouse. No time for remorse. Guess I gotta figure out how to get in there. Get the right tool for the right job.
red sky. What have we got here? Some kind of close encounter? Dunnington's no whiz kid. Where did he get his hands in this advanced technology?
There's something about this tank. There's something about this tank. The Lords of Tantras, I have guided you here, the fluid of your soul. I believe that hidden within the flesh lies the true artisan's canvas. There exists no better conduit for an artist's intended meaning, its intricate ability to feel and send messages to the psyche is unrivaled. Working within the divine parameters of that which we cannot improve upon, we can create without guilt, fashion without blasphemous ego, and it requires few tools, two brushes if you will, pleasure, and my personal implement of choice, pain. Remember, Such a frail thing to have given us so much trouble. I better deliver her to Claudia right away. I hear you've captured our intruder. Yes, Miss Horn. It appears our calling card has been successful in attracting Swerdlow's attention. Is she the one we need? Yes, I believe so. But only time will tell. Quite a spirited beauty she is, too. I think you may enjoy interrogating this one. I always enjoy my work, Angus dear. It's when they go and die on me too soon that I find it unfortunate. Not enough, how shall I say, 
intimate contact. I don't want to hear about it, Miss Horn. I find your methods effective, but extremely distasteful. I warned you not to let Kelso die. That's not what we're about here. You had the information you needed. You might have suppressed your bloodlust for once. Angus, you were so odd. Don't worry, dear heart. I'll try to leave a little bit of the sweet-smelling secret agent for you. Although I doubt there'll be much left of her when I'm through. Strange one, that Claudia. Great pair of headlights, though. <laughs> <laughs> the ancient Egyptians have always held a special place in my heart. Their preoccupation with drugs was woven into their obsession with death. This drug will enable your mind to comprehend and join me in our deadly game. Now, be a good little girl and take your medicine. Uh, that's okay. I've been taking the more organic route lately. But I'll take some herbal tea if you've got any. It's no accident we've brought you here. As time goes on, you'll see this scenario is more a creature of your design than our ubiquitous Mr. Dunnington. I don't know what you're talking about. But one thing's crystal clear. You got a real freak show going on here. Just relax, dear. Just think of my machine as an overblown hairdryer. I've been interrogated by the best of them. You'll get nothing out of me. Interrogated? You still don't understand, do you? The time for questions has long since passed. You and I will embark on a life and death struggle. A high stakes game, if you will. You psycho bitch, take your best shot. But if I get out of here alive, rest assured I'm coming after you. I'm afraid you're mistaken again, little one. It's you that's taking the shot. Piece of cake. Looks like the monkeys hit the fan. Time to abort this party. I gotta get back to the Southern Ridge and fire up that cannon. Whoa! Oh great, more Dunnington's boys. And I don't think they're here to kiss me goodbye! Uh, is that an atomizer? You're just glad to see me. Funny joke, lady. But that's gonna be your last laugh. Just get it over with, Bozo. Ooh. Manfred! Couldn't let my prime agent go to waste now, could I? I got too much money invested in you. You always were a penny pincher, old man. But you better get your ass in here, because we got company. Come on, let's move it. Ooh. I got your back covered, agent. Just head for that door. What's behind this door, anyway? Most likely, the fate. Of mankind. What is this place? This plan of action is gonna wear thin real soon. I can't hold these goons off forever. You're doing just fine, old man.
One more reference to my age, Callahan, and I'm docking you pay. We're gonna have to jump, Commander. I'm right behind you. Go for it! Where the hell are we? You're not too far off, Callahan. If I'm not mistaken, this is the gateway to hell. Right you are, Swordlow. Done, Ancient. I was hoping I'd be spared the privilege of seeing your ugly face again. I, on the other hand, am very glad to see you. By bringing your meddlesome daughter here, the last essential piece of the puzzle is in place. Ah, yes. The prodigal seed has returned, I see. If you harm one hair on her head, I swear I'll... Wait a minute. What does he mean by daughter? That's why I came, Ronnie. I couldn't tell you before. I had to protect you and your mother. There were security reasons. Security reasons? You bastard. I never felt secure. Not for one moment of my life. How could you just walk away and leave us? This is all very touching. But if you two would shut up for a moment, you'll see. The gate is about to open. Let the new age begin! Dunnington, get away from there. You don't know what that thing is or what it's capable of. Back off, you Epsilon minus semi-moron. What's about to happen here is far beyond your comprehension. If you know anything about what's going on here, you better get me up to speed, Daddy. It's part of Dunnington's obsessive pursuit of power. We've been developing an interdimensional gate back at headquarters, but there was always a glitch in the data stream cascade. I had no idea Dunnington had come this far. Feel fortunate, Swordlow. You bear witness to the end of life as you know it. I am the one who summoned you. I am the disciple who has opened the pathway for the divine entity, the Hunger. I am... <laughs> Definitely don't like the looks of this. Let's split up!
How you doing, big guy? I've been better. Look, Ronnie, I just want to explain. I... Not now. Save your strength. There'll be time for that later, Daddy. No. You've got to hear me out. Your mother and I were both government agents. Two wide-eyed kids that wanted to serve God and country. After a while, when she knew she was pregnant with you, your mother wanted out. Too much killing. Too many injustices. We had to make a deal. They promised not to eliminate her if I stayed in the service. I had to leave home. I had no choice. But when she died, I took you in to keep an eye on you. So many times I wanted to tell you. It's not over, Daddy. I won't let you go now that I've found you. Listen to me. The important thing is we have to destroy this gate. There's only one way to do it. I have a device here called the Condor. I have to detonate it from inside the gate. Now follow these instructions to the letter. You've got to hightail it out of here and make it back to headquarters. Contact Jonathan Cole at the DEFCON 5 Strike Force team. He can tell you how to operate our own interdimensional gate. That's the only way to bring me back. Okay, Daddy. Oh, jeez, now what? destiny. You are of the flesh. You are of the spirit, and I am of the infinite and merciless grace. I thought you said things couldn't get any worse. Human, you have succeeded where countless others have failed. The Sentinel has raped and pillaged entire planets, brought down leagues of soldiers, yet you alone have used the only element that would destroy him, the Resonator. I command you, female human. You are formidable. Yeah, thanks. Um, I suppose you'll be leaving us now, right? Pity all of your kind is not so capable. I much prefer the likes of you. Got any ideas? I've got you distracted, Ronnie. If I can get this bomb through the gate and on target, we may have a chance. Okay, uh, and what will my reward be, oh great and wise skull thing? You will be revered as the mother of the new order. The womb through which the Tentrasian army will be born into your world. And in return you shall experience endless ecstasy. Orgasm after orgasm. Your mind and body will be immersed in a sea of passionate climax! Oh, wow. Uh, that sounds really great, and I have been hit on by the best of them. You are not unlike other creatures. So much need. So much lust. You have the hunger, woman. I am already in your heart. But you, my sweet are of the Tentrasian Order. Come here. Stop! No! Ah, oh, I can smell your soul. No, what's happening to me? The joining begin. I must resist these strange feelings. It's time to activate this device. The time of reckoning has arrived. 
Save yourself, Ronnie. I love you, kid. Fools! I will destroy him and then come back for you! That's my cue. He must have made it to the other side. Got to get to the surface. That helicopter had better be waiting.